Hey, what's up, guys, boys, and girls, fellow collectors from all around the world? Ivan Seb, the French collector, is back for yet another video, guys. We're now in October, my favorite month of the year. Spooky season has officially started, and it's my love for Halloween and all things horror that made me crawl back out of the shadows to bring you this video. You can't see them right now, but I'm surrounded by my collection of ghost face masks. Every once in a while, I like to take them out of the box and just look at them. I like to, uh, you know, study the evolution of these masks over the years and some of the customizations, modifications that I, I did to some of them. Today, I bought this one. Now, more and more people around me telling me another ghost face mask. Did you really need another ghost face mask? Well, hey, Janet, I mean, you really didn't need that new scented candle, but yet here we are. Now, as you can see, it is the ghost face zombie version, the zombie variant. It is an EU stamp, manufacturing date, April, June, 2023. And it has this, oh God, it has this delicious vanilla scent that brings back so many childhood memories, you know, back in the 90s, my early, my very first ghost face masks. However, let me tell you right now that this ghost face zombie mask, I really don't give a shit about it. No, I don't want to piss anybody off out there. But um, on a serious note, the mask is really cool, but you know, there are so many different variants of the ghost face mask. And I know people, some of them that I follow on YouTube or Instagram, very cool guys who have a passion for ghost face and uh, great collectors who own every variant, right? So we have the uh, Chrome Ghost Face, Golden Ghost Face, American Flag Ghost Face. Uh, recently, I saw the Ukraine Flag Ghost Face, Gay Pride uh, Flag Ghost Face, um, the, the Devil Ghost Face, the red one with the horns. We get the Scarecrow Ghost Face, Zombie Ghost Face. I've seen Ghost Face masks covered in diamonds or whatnot this is shit <laughs> and they're all really nice i love them however i'm not a ghost face fan per se you see i'm a huge movie buff i have a passion for movies all genres but horror happens to be one of my favorite genres and the scream franchise happens to be my favorite horror franchise with halloween so for me to buy a ghost face mask it needs to be a, a mask seen in one of the movies you know traditional classic white mask if it's gonna be um, a different version that was not worn by any of the killers in the movie I, I can love it I can admire it but I'm just not gonna buy it however after passing in front of this mask like dozens of times in the past few weeks thinking I'm not gonna buy it today I finally caved in and brought one home I had to go I had to go through their entire stock to find one that, that didn't have a shitty shape and that is the best i could find i think it's okay why did i make an exception and buy this one and i guess you all remember scream 6 that was released um was it last year i think so and in scream 6 for the first time in the history of the franchise the killer was wearing a slightly different kind of mask a mask that was heavily uh, aged and weathered and discolored and cracked and it looked like shit and to tell you the truth, I must have watched Scream 6 four or five times so far and I still don't really know how to rank it. I don't really know how to feel about this movie. I have mixed feelings about it. However, one thing that I did love about Scream 6 was that aged mask. I thought the design was really cool. So I have a few in my collection. I'm not gonna show them all to you. There's, uh, this is the stock mask, right? The stock aged 
mask as seen in Scream 6. Then there's another one that I bought that I repainted. And there's another one, a Billy Loomis uh, weathered mask that I made from scratch using an EU stamp. And I still plan on making someday a version of a Stu Macker weathered mask, right? But for now, let's focus on this one. I thought, wouldn't it be cool to actually repaint this mask and make it look like what could have been, you know, a Scream 6 mask? Um, oh, by the way, like I said earlier, I had zero interest in uh, owning one before today. I never thought I'd buy one one day. So obviously I have not watched a single video on YouTube, uh, unboxing video or review of this mask. Never, right? So I don't know how the camera picks this up, but seeing this in front of me right now with my own eyes, what's so ugly is the collar. This gray collar, I mean, at the end of the day, it's supposed to be a zombie mask, right? So um, if it was up to me, I would have painted it, you know, uh, in, I don't know, blue, purple, you know, kind of like decaying skin, right? Like a rotting corpse. Why dark gray? I don't know. And what's worse is in some areas, they put a bit of greenish, yellowish color, kind of like lime color. I don't know. It's just weird. I hate the way they painted this mask. Another thing I hate, and this is a first for me, none of my other ghost face masks are like this. It's the eyes. It's their half mesh, half uh, rubber latex, which I hate, right? Uh, I tried wearing it earlier and uh, I don't know, maybe it's just the way it fits on my big ass head. I can't see anything through the left eye. And anyway, I just think it's ugly. So before I repaint it, I'm gonna cut these out and replace the mesh later on. Now, what I love about this mask compared to the Scream 6 mask is how hardcore they went on the cracks. I mean, it's over the top. There are cracks everywhere, everywhere. And they're much deeper. And also look at the Scream 6 mask, the mouth, is uh quite smooth whereas here we even have cracks in the mouth area so anyway let's now start working on this on this cream six uh concept uh slash alternate version of you know what it could have looked like uh, i'm gonna start getting rid of the mesh behind the eyes <clears throat> Damn. One. Oh, that glue is quite strong. Damn it. Okay. And now let's try to cut out these eyes. I'm gonna try to protect the shroud. I don't wanna cut the shroud. So we're done, right? Just gonna try to make the edges a little bit smoother. I guess that's it. And we got some shit already going to the garbage. This, 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 obviously. Hmm, I might keep this. Uh, I'm gonna start painting it, but before I do that, I'm gonna start protecting some areas, the edges of the mouth. I don't want to keep them clean. Now, I guess the nose as well. Maybe the first thing to do is paint it white. Going in this, I have no idea what to expect. I have no clue. How it's gonna turn out i'm not even sure exactly what i want to do i'll just go with the flow wish me luck
Okay, guys, I'll be very honest with you. Uh, I have no clue what the hell I'm doing right now. <laughs> uh, worst case scenario, I will have wasted money on a mask that I'll just have to throw away. And uh, I will have wasted time on a video that I'll never upload on my channel. We'll just see how it goes. However, I still gotta say though that um, obviously it's still too early for a real judgment, but 20 minutes in, uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. I really thought that, um, you know, it would look completely white, but because I'm not pushing too hard on my paintbrush, um, the white paint doesn't get all the way inside those cracks and actually now it's the opposite it's actually the white uh, layer is starting to highlight those cracks they're starting to come out really nicely obviously I'll still have to get over the, the, the mask at the end with a black wash but it looks pretty cool now I think I'm gonna go to bed now and let this dry over the night and uh, try to get up early in the morning to finish this. Probably add a second layer of white, at least in some areas, and then uh, start with the smaller details. Peace out, see you tomorrow. So that's my morning face. Literally just woke up 10 minutes ago. I wanted to check um, if it dried and this is looking really nice already. Obviously still a work in uh, progress. So uh, I'm gonna have my cereal and I'll keep working on this, but I love it so far. So what I'm doing now is I'm adding a very thin layer of that color I mentioned earlier. Uh, that's called uh, titanium bleach. It's just a to me, it just looks like a light shade of gray, of beige, sorry. And um, I think I already overdid it in some areas, but that's okay. So now it's time to add that black paint. You know, as I'm sitting here doing this right now, I'm starting to realize that what matters most to me is not so much the end result, although that it does matter a lot to me, of course, obviously, because or else I wouldn't even start working on these things. But what I mean is that what I really prefer, what I love most is the process, you know, getting there. When I'm sitting here at this workshop and working on a project, you know, repainting a figure, a mask, modding a statue, doesn't matter. This is where I find my peace, you know? It's quiet, I'm focusing on something and I forget all the problems, you know, work and whatnot. And I just love it. I'm gonna start adding the black wash now. Uh, I always find this step to be a bit tricky because, well, it's just me. I always tend to put too much paint or maybe not enough water. <laughs> well, it doesn't look too bad, but I'm not done. I can still fuck this up. Instead of a cloth, I'm gonna try it with my hands. I'm gonna put on some gloves and try to apply this black wash with my hands. Let's see how this turns out. <clears throat> I think it actually works a lot better with gloves because I can just smear the black paint into the crevices, into the little cracks with my hands and then just wash it with a wet cloth. 
damn. Yeah, it's starting to look perfect in some areas. Okay, so again, black paint all over the mask. Gonna insist now with my finger. Then, dry paper. And then, a wet cloth. to wash off the excess of paint. Maybe in some areas, a Q-tip. <laughs> I'm loving it. Now, what I'm doing now is uh, some of these cracks are so tiny, so small that um, Every time I wash off the excess of black paint, it also grabs that black paint out of those cracks and I want it to stay in there. So what I'm doing now is these smallest, tiniest cracks, I'm cleaning them one by one with a toothpick. So the original dark gray paint is showing through again. Time to paint the eyes now. This might be tricky as well. Okay. Well, I guess that's pretty much it, guys. At least with the cracks, maybe it's time to move on to the next step. Of course, I could go on and on and on and spend the entire weekend on this mask. There's always going to be that little detail that later on I will notice and think, oh, maybe I could have improved this or that. And it's okay, you know, every once in a while when I take out all my brushes and paint to uh, rework a statue or a mask or whatever, I always use the opportunity to, uh, while I'm at it, you know, um, improve older projects. So. Um, can still improve this in the future but for now I guess it's okay so the next step now I want to add a bit of um, brownish paint around the eyes maybe in the mouth area as well add a bit of uh, discoloration to the white rubber but that is hardcore weathering now. Damn, those cracks are amazing and they really pop out much more than um, when it was earlier painted in gray, you know, the, the stock paint. I love it so much more now. Anyway, brown paint. Now, brown paint is something that I added on both the Scream 6 stock mask that I repainted and the custom one that I that I did that I made but on this one right here it's it's already so weathered that I, I really I don't want to overdo it um, and I think that's too much already it needs to be very very light then let me remove what I just did 
So you might wonder what is he looking at right now? Actually, what I'm looking at right now are my other Scream 6 masks. Just for reference, to remember more or less what I did and try to replicate more or less the same thing, just less noticeable, less, more subtle. Yeah, let's keep it that way for the time being. We'll see later. What I'm gonna do now is um, use these uh, this nylon sock to close the eyes. <clears throat> oh, there's still a bit of uh, of the original mesh fabric in there that I gotta remove. Oh, damn it! Scissors. I need scissors. Where's my fabric bloom? I'm here. Now this glue really smells like shit. It's that, that the smell of this glue is just awful. So let's see how it turned out. Well, it does look pretty damn good. I think actually it's even better than the original stock uh, fabric that they put in there. Very cool. And of course, what did I just say earlier? I'm holding the mask like this right now with my hand wide open inside uh, for at least 20 minutes until the glue around the eye the eyes is uh, is dry and I'm already using that time now to work on more little cracks that I missed <laughs> I'm just never satisfied but wow what a sculpt It looks amazing. I love how it turned out, man. I wanna... No, I don't know. Should I add some blood? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna add some blood. <laughs> I think I got the right color and well this is something that I can still uh, take off you know uh, in the future if I want to have a bloodless version I'll just add a few drops here and there like this just gonna grab, grab some with my finger add it here oh that's fucking nice <laughs> I mean I love it. It's probably not gonna be to everybody's taste, but I love it. I won't overdo it. I like it. Kind of one of his victims just literally just coughed the blood right on his mask. Ah, I fucked up. Quick, 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 water, water, water. I messed up a spot right here. Let me clean this. I think that's it. I don't want to overdo it with the blood, right? I'm repeating myself. Like I said, if I change my mind about this later on, I'll just paint over it. But um, yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I realized that I forgot to film close-ups of the mask before I started my work on it. So um, if I want to show you now a before and after comparison, I'm going to have to head back to the store and film a stock one there, which is what I'm going to do right now. 
uh, it's gonna take some time to dry now at least the blob because it's you know thicker layers tiny um, drops that I put on it so uh, I'll just leave it as is for now and um, but yeah I really really love it so I'm gonna end this video with uh, close-ups of what I did I put a, a lot of paint on the shroud damn it I should have been more cautious but it it's okay I'll clean this off anyway guys that was the first video of October hopefully there will be more I love this time of year thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for more horror videos and uh, peace out that was Imam said the French collector and I'm out of here